A warm welcome after a small little commercial break. This is myself, RJ Roman, like every Sunday, 2 till 4, on the RJ Roman Show on Akash Radio, 1323 m Leeds and worldwide who are tuned in as well because we've got a massive, massive listeners worldwide at the moment who are tuned in as well on www.akashradioleeds.co.uk and on the tune-in app as well. So, uh, once again, warm welcome on the show. Like, uh, as you know, uh, the specialism of this show is always to bring along or have an artist or a producer uh, joining the show as well. Like every Sundays, I have someone very interesting to talk to about their tracks and about the music as well. So uh, today you've got a very interesting guest. Um, I would say, you know, most of his fans who are connected on social media, they've actually said to me, wow, fourth time you've got this guy. This producer on your show, you've broken all the records here, right? So, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have this producer on the show. Uh, I do class him as a legendary, a legend, a living legend, I would say. And uh, knowing that he's been around since the 80s till now, and he's been very, very active in the music scene. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure that I've got him for the fourth time on the show today. And uh, I'm talking about the man himself, uh, the legendary... Mukhtar Sahota, I mean, uh, we've known him as the producer of the greatest UK's band, the Sahotas, and uh, coming along as a solo producer, he has worked with practically every single established Punjabi artist as well, and he's produced for many Punjabi movies and for the Bollywood industry as well. So, Mukhtar Sahota, we once got him on the show, and a warm welcome on the show, Mukhtar, how are you doing? Hi Roman, thank you for uh, having me again and uh, I'm doing fine, thanks. Fantastic, fantastic. Absolute pleasure we got you on the show once again. So you got two tracks this year, 2020. Uh, fantastic two tracks, I mean brand new releases. I mean Galla Piyardian Love Song. I mean, what's with Mokta mm-hmm. Sohota this year with Love Songs? I mean, tell us where this romantic <laughs> twist has come suddenly in the new decade. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't planned that way. Uh, because as you know, I mean, songs... You know, the preparation for the songs uh, uh, is, is in way in advance. So uh, it just happened to be, I mean, both songs came together and uh, they were both kind of scheduled for pretty much the same time and they both happened to be uh, love songs as well. So, yeah, coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was coincidence really, yeah. It wasn't planned, it wasn't planned. Right, so, I mean, this is the fourth track now, I mean, talking about Sajid Khan. I mean, fourth track done with him, Galan I mean... Mm-hmm. Tell us what the track's all about. I mean, where this uh, all this uh, entire concept got put together? Uh, well, I mean, Sajid Khan, he, he contacted me again and he says, especially after we did, um, I mean, we, like he says, we've done three previous tracks with him. Um, and he wanted uh, to do a romantic track, basically, like Dil Di Kitab, mm. you know, did extremely well for him. And he says, you know, something, something kind of on the same vein, but... Um, uh, with a bit of a different edge. Yeah. So uh, uh, this, this is how it all kind of started. And then uh, I, I got in touch with uh, Raj Gurmeet, uh, who, who did the lyrics for the song. And yeah. um, so, so we went through a couple of songs and this is the one we kind of uh, selected. Mm. Um, and, and that's basically how it all started, really. Uh, uh, so, yeah, it was, it was basically what uh, Sajid Khan was... I mean, obviously, he was doing all these other tracks and, he, you know, and he, he felt like it was a bad time, like he, he kind of... Did a bit of a mellow track than than rather than all the hardcore type of yeah. bongo tracks and and fusion tracks and stuff. So uh, yeah, so uh, that was the idea behind uh, this song. Well, so I mean, you mentioned uh, Raj Gurmeet once again. You've got him as a songwriter. I mean, what was your first impression when he showed you the you know and read the lyrics out to you? I mean, what what was the first thing what you got in your mind that you know we're gonna do this track? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like like I said, we went through a couple of uh, a couple of songs with him. And, uh, you know, I, I was looking for something that was, um, obviously, I mean, I mean, the theme we already knew is it had to be like a kind of a romantic song. Yeah. Um, but I was looking for the simplicity as well in the lyrics. I didn't want them to be too complicated and uh, going off in, in, in sort of like on a, on, on a storyline kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so that was the main thing, really. The hook line uh, and, and the lyrics to be quite simple. Uh, but effective, so so that was that, that that is what I was looking for. And as uh, soon as I heard the lyrics, and and he, he you know he sort of went through the uh, the chorus line with me, I knew this was this was exactly what we were kind of looking for. 
Wow, I mean, you know, when it comes down to like, for example, selecting lyrics, I mean, sometimes a lot of artists and producers always select lyrics that may sound similar to their life's experience. I mean, would you say Gala Piyadi is something related to yourself or is this considered to be just a, as a social message kind of thing? I, I think, uh, well, I mean, it might be personal to Raj Gurmeet, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for, <laughs> for, for me, it was just, just, you know, getting the right song. Uh, for for what Sajid Khan wanted as well. So, yeah. uh, uh, as a music producer, you kind of have to kind of deliver, um, you, you know, what the whole team is looking for. So, um, so that was my <laughs> that was my part in it. But it wasn't it wasn't uh, anything personal to me. No. Right. I mean, you know, I mean, looking the the kind of music what's getting produced nowadays. I mean, there's a lot of pangra, like proper hardcore pangra. I mean, I ever, ever thought of doing like a pangra track because we always seen you doing more, you know, techno, electro, reggae and, you know, fusion stuff. I mean, have you, have you ever yeah. thought to do have a, a Bhangra track once? Yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely. I mean, if, it, if it's called for, uh, you know, I'm, I, I have uh, uh, been working on a few, few sort of like hardcore Bhangra tracks as well. So yeah. those will be sort of, uh, obviously, we'll, uh, uh, we'll let you know more, more towards the end of the year. Um, but yeah, but those are definitely in the pipeline. I am working on some some of that kind of stuff as well. Fantastic, fantastic. Looking forward yeah. to that though. Looking forward because it has been a while since we've had a, a heavy Bhangra track from you. You know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've I've done them in like uh, uh, Punjabi films and stuff like with Ari Flahar and we yeah. did, um, you know, Kale Ranga Shikan there for Ishq My Religion. Mm-hmm. You know, there was yeah. sort of like hardcore sort of and um, uh, the Long Watcha. Yeah. song with the Mika and stuff but um, yeah but not as a single as a single I haven't done it for a long time so yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, that's that's to come definitely for this year looking forward to that looking forward to that. I mean like coming to the video of the track as well Galapi Ardi I mean the feel, I mean the le- you've released a video worldwide it's mm-hmm. good response positive response out there I mean but the question is where's Mukta Sohoto in the video I mean we haven't seen you featured what, what's gone wrong there <laughs> yeah, it was just. I think it's just a matter of schedule, really. I mean, I, I was, I was, it's trying to get everybody to to work at the same time, and uh, I, I think Sajid wanted me to come to India, and that wasn't really going to happen because of uh, my schedule here. Yeah. Um, and then trying to get uh, you know a company here to shoot the video here and this and the other. We just the times didn't really match, you see, on on on, on this uh, project. So. Um, yeah. It didn't didn't quite work out, but um, definitely for the for the next couple of projects that we're doing, uh, I, will, I will be featuring in the videos. Fantastic, fantastic! Because it's it's kind of a, a more of I consider it as being more of a, a signature touch on the video because when yourself is featured, it's got a different vibe to it in a way, you know. So we have to right. see you in a video, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, because I get messages and stuff on social media and saying how come you wasn't in the video and not the other, but yeah, yeah it's, it's just all about timing really, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you've done Gala Piyadiyya, Punjabi track, Punjabi vocals, and uh, now, I mean, a few days ago you've released a love song, I mean, a second track of this year from your side, I mean, mm-hmm. Sanita Majumda once again. I mean, tell us yeah. about this track as well, I mean, it's got a Hindi vibe, I presume. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 definitely a Hindi pop song, yeah. um, you know, with with uh, like an English chorus line, um, which you know doesn't very often happen. Uh, so, you know, that was a nice touch. I think it was, uh, you know, for that kind of fusion thing. Yeah. Um, uh, and with with Anita, um, when I did the first single with her, yeah. we had recorded we had recorded both songs at the time, so they were kind of. Um, I mean, all the work was already prepared, so it was just a matter of time. It was just, it was just a matter of, you know, getting the timing right for the release, yeah. getting the video shot, and all that kind of stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, so uh, that, that's that's how the song came about, really. So, I mean, we we had pre-planned both of these songs, um, y- you know, uh, this is sometime last year. So, I mean, like the track. I mean, you know, I always presume when I actually when I actually saw the video, I heard a bit of the teaser as well. I mean, it's a Hindi mm-hmm. pop song. Um, we have a, we hear this like a very techno kind of sound in the beat, and it actually mm-hmm. reminds you of the '90s era when the Hindi pop music was quite big at the time as well. I mean, got that yeah. kind of influence. Yeah. In there. I mean, tell us, you know, what kind of influenced you uh, to do the music for this track? 
Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it, it, is, it has got a bit of a retro feel. Yeah. Um, and, and you, you know, uh, that, that was basically the idea, the idea behind the song as well. I mean, obviously, because she's singing in Hindi and she's got a distinctive uh, uh, vocal sound as well. Uh, with that and then with the English lyrics and the music and everything, mm. you, you know, it, it does have that kind of retro feel to it. Uh, but I wanted to bring in sort of what's happening kind of in the mainstream. I mean, if you listen to some of the mainstream songs at the moment, uh, like in the English uh, in the English market, you know, I wanted to kind of bring that flavor to it as well yeah. at the same time. So, you know, make it a bit current, um, but at the same time, you know, have a slight retro feel to it as well. I think uh, that was the idea behind behind the song, really, too. To make it stand out a little bit as well. I didn't want it just to get lost in yeah. with all the other music that's happening at the moment. Yeah. And it's a different market as well. I mean, nobody's really doing that kind of stuff here in the UK. Uh, you know, nobody's really experimenting with, like, sort of Hindi pop songs, um, to, 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 to my knowledge, anyway. Um, and I think it's important to sort of... Uh, you know, it's a huge market. I mean, when you look at Bollywood, for instance, it's yeah. a massive market, and uh, but nobody really is uh, kind of touching on Hindi on Hindi pop music here in the UK. Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, it has been a while. I mean, I mean now the trend is more like Punjabi cinema, Punjabi movies, and the influence of you know artists from Punjab as well. It's that Hindi pop vibe has kind of died away in a way in the UK. I don't think no one really touches Hindi music as much as how much they really really into Bhangra music. Yeah, of course, of course. And if you think about it, I mean, you know, there's a, there's a huge market for it here. Yeah. You know, because as, as, as you know, I mean, you know, the amount of people that watch Hindi movies, go to cinema, you know, listen to the songs and stuff, you know, from, from film music. Yeah. Um, it's surprising that, you know, we're not getting people following <laughs> sort of... Um, independent artists who, yeah. who are releasing Hindi music. Yeah, I mean, uh, when it comes down to, for example, like, uh, you know, I mean, sometimes I get asked, uh, you know, by many of your followers who follow me as well, coincidentally, <laughs> on social media. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, yeah. when it comes down to uh, working with artists, I mean, we've come across you uh, as a solo producer where you've worked with more Punjab-based artists, you know, although mm -hmm. it's either Pakistan or India, any Punjab, you know. But yeah. we haven't seen you as much working, uh, doing production work for UK-based art artists. Is there some, some specific reason why you work with just Punjab-based artists rather than England? No, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, see, the thing is, there doesn't seem to be that many artists coming forward in the UK. And, it, and some, I mean, uh, it, it's not so much even I'm just sitting around waiting for UK artists to come. I mean, I do kind of... You know, listen to stuff that's happening here, or, or you know, I'll just go on YouTube and search and see what, what's the latest here in the UK. Um, but there doesn't seem to be that many. I mean, for me, it's got to be somebody who's vocally, you know, talented in uh, on the vocal sense, really. Yeah. So you know, and, and I don't really see much of it coming through in the UK, to be honest. Mm. Um, I mean, there's, there's there's you know a few artists that are coming. Um, into the market and stuff, but I just, I just don't feel they've had that much training, vocal yeah. training. So, and, and I think that's really important because you don't really want to be working on a song and then in the middle of working on a song, I'm trying to train them yeah. uh, at the same time as well because <laughs> that's not really my job, you know, to, uh, to be sitting around and, and, and teaching them, you, you know, uh, different aspects of uh, vocal techniques and this and the other. It's like, you know, that, that's a different uh, ball game altogether. Well, I mean, you know, like, for example, we're just, uh, discussing this. I mean, for example, like, you know, there's a few artists out there, like, who have been very successful in their musical career. I mean, like, for example, Apache Indian. I mean, he's been a great mm -hmm. influence when it comes down to reggae music. And he's formed yeah. his own music academy as well, you know. And uh, yeah. at the same time, there's Shinda Shinda out there who's, you know, mm -hmm. in search for looking for fresh artists and songwriters. And uh, yeah, yeah. then we've got True School. I mean, he's formed his own uh, record, uh, Check One Records. And he's signing yeah. new artists and producers. I mean, how, haven't you ever thought yourself, although having your own kind of uh, style of music, haven't you ever thought of actually forming some form of like a record label or some form of like an academy where you can actually teach others, you know, who are willing to learn, you know, the, your kind of music, your kind of style? Have you ever thought of yeah. that? Yeah, I, I have a... Uh, um for quite for quite a while, I have been I have been thinking about 
maybe setting up some kind of a, a school or, or some something on that nature. Mm. Um, you know, to because uh, I mean, I get as you could imagine, I, I get so many different producers and and people who want to get into music and musicians and stuff. You, you know, contacted contacting me for advice, and uh, you know, I always advise them. Um, you know which way to go and how to sort of set up and this and the other, but yeah, I've never, I've never really had. It's, it's all about having that time as well to to set up something like that because it takes a lot of time and energy and and yeah. and it's not something that you can just say, well, look, you know, I'm going to be here once a week and let's put this class together. You have to have everything prepared as you as you could imagine. It's it's it's, it's teaching at the end of the day, and you want to make sure that uh, you have enough students and that you have. The, you know the right setup and the plan that you have for each musician and stuff. Yeah. So it, it is. I have thought about it, but um, I think maybe maybe when I retire from music, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we from, don't want to see that. Music. Well, I mean, we don't want to see you retired anyway, because you know <laughs> when it comes down to uh, creativity or innovation, we always look at Mokhtar yeah. so Hotel's top of the list here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we don't want to see you retired. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you never know. I mean, you know, I mean, I've thought about maybe doing it online as well. So it, it's something I've been sort of, uh, you know, pondering on the idea for quite a while. So yeah. you know, it's just a matter of time of, uh, you know, getting my getting my head down and getting it done, basically. It, yeah. So I think it's great. I mean, like like you said, I mean, like Patchy Indian and these artists who are doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's great for uh, you know the youth and and the uh, uh, musicians who want to get into music to you know to uh to get the right guidance because it's yeah. really important i mean i've got a very interesting uh question for you i mean uh, i've been asked by a fellow social media follower of yours named sharanjit kaur i mean she's based in ludhiana punjab and mm-hmm. uh, she's actually i would actually class her to be one of your craziest fans here i mean she's a diehard fan of the sahotas and mm-hmm. uh, whenever i receive any message from her the first thing she asks me how are the sahota brothers Right, so <laughs> she's actually forwarded me a very interesting question, and uh, okay. I was quite amazed when she actually asked me that. Right, and she mm-hmm. said, you know, uh, nowadays we have come across Bollywood reproducing some of the UK's classic tracks, like for example, Sakabir had reproduced a Hira track called Doe Jania, and uh, okay. Yo Yo Honey Singh did a remake of Gurunalo Ishkmita by uh, Malkit Singh. I mean. Has Mukta Sahota ever been asked or approached to reproduce a Sahota's track to get featured in a movie? Has anyone ever come across you? Yeah, I've, I've, it, it's happened quite often, to be honest. Uh, you, you know, for Punjabi films and Hindi films and stuff as well. Um, you know, they, they, they have asked for various Sahota's tracks. and um, But I think it's, it's more so the legalities of it, really, um, mm-hmm. where... There's been a few issues here and there because, uh, as, as as you may know, Sahota's albums were with sort of like one record label there, sort of scattered yeah. amongst all the UK record labels and stuff. And you know, there's there's so many kind of uh, red tape around it, so it's mm. it's been a bit difficult to try and get uh, um, y- y- you know the right deal with the with the right film production house and with the UK labels and then ourselves as well because we the me, myself and Serge we're the uh, the composers of them songs yeah. um so you know everybody has to come to some kind of an agree uh, uh, an agreement as well but and then and then the other thing is uh, um we've been quite picky as well where you know for what film somebody wants to do a remix for or or what project it's for because yeah. Some of the Punjabi movies, I didn't feel that it was suited. Some of the songs were suited for the film, mm. uh, and what they wanted to portray the song as. So, I, you know, we didn't um, really come to any agreement. But yeah, uh, it's happened quite quite a number of occasions now where we've been approached for some of the old old material. We are actually looking forward for that kind of specific time when finally a Sahota's track gets featured in a movie. I mean, that'll be quite epic, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Of, of course, I mean, it'd be a great thing because uh, it just brings back, um, y- y- you know, what we created back then, but, you know, brings it to a new audience. And I think yeah. it's a great thing if that happens, it'd be brilliant. Uh, but it's just getting to work with the right people um, and, and somebody who's going to actually give the song the right uh, promotion and the right push. 
definitely, definitely. I mean, yeah, because what what happens is the other thing that happens is they take a song yeah. and then they remix it, and sometimes instead of making it better, it can ruin the the song as well. So you have to be a bit careful and mindful yeah. of that. That's true. I mean, it's quite interesting you've mentioned that. I mean, there have been some tracks that have been reproduced where it, they've kind of gone off track. I mean. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take like different yeah, I mean, scenario. Yeah, exactly. Even some classic uh, uh, Bollywood songs from back in the day that have been reproduced. Yeah. You know, they're kind of ruined. Um, you know, the the whole vibe, the whole essence of yeah. of the original track, and I think um, that's when it kind of goes wrong. Mm, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, you know, co- coming back to, I mean. I mean, look at the music scene in the UK now. I mean, in the past few years, I mean, some new fresh producers have come out. I mean, with bringing different sounds and, you know, also bringing fresh voices out there. I mean, what are your views on the current standard of music here? I mean, do you, you know, do you see the production to be on a good standard? I mean, tell us a bit of your views on this as a as a music producer. Um, I mean, I've, I've, you know, no doubt there's been some good tracks and there's been some good music production. Yeah. Um, you know, in the market, um, but I, I, I just feel sometimes I think certain music producers and what well, basically what I feel is that they stick to one style and and that's all they do and any kind of it almost comes a bit of a formula from one track to the next mm. and I think you can only do that for so long before it starts to get a little bit tired. Yeah, um, that's the only that's the only little criticism I have. Uh, you, you know, once somebody's got some kind of a formula, and you know they've done, they've done a great job, and it's been a hit track. Yeah. But then they kind of carry that same formula on, and I think you can only do that for so long. That's my only little criticism, really. But um, mm-hmm. other than that, you know, there's there's good music producers coming up, and you know, there's been some good tracks out there. There's been some, you know, uh, you know, huge hits and and what have you. But um, and the thing is, for for the future as well, for for, for music producers and musicians and stuff, yeah. I think uh, you know it's a great thing that people are, uh, are experimenting and and bringing out new new styles and uh, new ways of producing music and stuff. But the thing is, I think it's 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 about variety at the end of the day, really. Yeah. And 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 the other thing that happens is somebody. It's like if a track works, everybody seems to jump on that same style, and everybody wants to kind of imitate it and copy it and um you know i don't i don't think that's really good for the music industry yeah i mean you know when it comes down to for example like you mentioned i mean one person starts something and it kind of you know someone else comes in to replicate that same style you know and it just sounds the same you know and uh, you know when it comes to for example like um like i mean when it comes to the music now i mean is there someone specifically you actually you know, listen to, I mean, the new talent out there. I mean, is there anyone you're currently listening to or enjoying their music? Is there someone in your mind you actually follow? Um, no, there's not anybody, uh, there's not like one music producer that I listen to or anything like that. It's just, it's just what catches my ear really. I mean, you know, I could be just doing like a random uh, search on, on YouTube or, yeah. you know, different, Diff- different sort of styles and music from different countries. It's just something that uh, uh, catches my attention, really, that, that I kind of listen to. But I don't sort of concentrate on just one artist and think, yeah. you know, I'm a fan of this artist and I listen to all, all their music. It's just whatever whatever crops up, really. So I, I don't really... I mean, I used, to be, I used to be like that back in the day. I mean, like mm. I was a huge Prince fan. Yeah. You know, so I used to do every album that used to come out. I used to be there, buy it, and you know, listen to it over and over again. But I, I think that kind of that kind of um, thing has kind of gone as well in, in today's music. It's, it, there's so much material that's getting uh, released, and and uh, so much music that you know is coming into the market, and and it's hard to kind of keep track yeah. of, uh, of who's releasing what, and you know, kind of. Uh, it's it's a matter of what comes up in your feed uh, these days yeah, <laughs> that you get to listen to. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean that's uh, you know quite, quite interesting conversation we're having here. I mean coming back to uh, the two brand new tracks. I mean you know you've got Galampiadi, a Punjabi track. 
love song as a Hindi track. I mean, what else have you got in the pipeline for 2020? Because you brought two fantastic tunes here, and uh, I've been listening to Galna Piyadi since it got released, right? So it hasn't right. become a bit of an addiction to listen to that track <laughs> right, repeat, okay. right? So <laughs> what's the plans now further? I mean, what, what have you got in the pipeline for your fans out there? Yeah, I mean, there's quite, there's quite a lot uh, happening this year. Um, and sometimes, uh, you know, uh, it depends on the schedule as well. When, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be a track released pretty much every month. But yeah. sometimes it doesn't work out that way. But I have got enough material for the rest of the year. Um, it's just scheduling everything in. And then there's a, a Bollywood movie wow. that I've done the full soundtrack for as well. So uh, that, that was supposed to be released. Uh, round about now but I think it's been slightly delayed for mm. maybe summertime um, but that should be definitely releasing sometime this year so I'm um, looking forward to that Fantastic. Um, and yeah so there's just a string of singles that I've, I've already got prepared finished done and I'm working on as well at the moment uh, um, for the end of the year as well so uh, yeah but we will definitely keep you updated on uh, the schedule and, and what's happening when Lovely, fantastic. Looking forward to that. And uh, yes, it's an absolute pleasure we had you on the show today once again. Because uh, like some of your fans, like Parveen Paliwal as well from India, he told me, he actually wrote to me, that <laughs> I, this is unbelievable that you got booked out so yeah. for the fourth time on your show. I thought, well, I'm breaking <laughs> all records now. You know? <laughs> so absolute pleasure that we've got you on the show. And uh, hoping the very best for your further... Uh, music you're going to produce this year I mean what uh, what sort of message you want to give to your fans and the listeners who are listening to the show at the moment uh, well you know just keep it uh, locked with all my uh, social uh, my social media handles and stuff uh, so um, you know just to uh, basically keep updated on what the latest that will be happening from myself and from internal music um, yeah and uh, just keep supporting and keep showing the love Fantastic. Lovely. Absolute pleasure, Mukta. And uh, yeah, hoping the very best. And uh, hoping to uh, see you one day in the studio in Leeds. I mean, when's that going to happen? Yes, now? definitely. <laughs> we didn't say last time that next time I will come to the studio. Yeah, you uh, have but to. We're back, we're back on the phone again. Uh, but we'll definitely, we, I will uh, come into the studios and we'll do a, a full length interview. Well, you have to. I mean, at, we, at your have studios, that. Yeah. we want to see you doing some of it, a jamming in the studio and show us some of your keyboard tricks and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, br I'll bring all the uh, the, the, uh, the band vodka with me and we can... Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. You'll have to bring <laughs> the band We can go through it. Definitely, definitely. I've got the Vajja here anyway, so you can do a bit of jamming on there, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic, no, fantastic. Yeah, we'll have to do that, of course. Lovely. Well, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, having me once again on your show. It's always a pleasure doing your interview. Lovely, fantastic. Absolute pleasure, Mukta, and hoping the very best. And uh, yeah, God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Roman. Yo, that was the uh, live exclusive conversation with the man himself. The legendary Mukhtar Sahota talking about the brand new tracks Galapi Ardiya featuring Sajid Khan and talking about uh, this brand new Hindi track he's done as well Love Song with uh, Sanita Majumdar I mean what both mega tracks of 2020 right it's a great start of the year in a new decade with some classic I would say some classic innovative creative banging tunes by the musical man himself Mukta Sahota, right? So, absolute pleasure we had him in the show. So, uh, I'm hoping to actually have him in the studio one day because uh, the kind of conversations that I always have with him, you know, on the show, you always tend to actually learn something. It's always something very inspirational uh, from his side. I mean, so it's an absolute pleasure. It's always a blessing to have him on the show. And uh, yeah, so a massive shout out to each and every one of you who have tuned in. And also a massive shout out to his followers as well. Uh, Sharanjit Kaur from Ludhiana, Punjab, Die Heart Fund of Sahotas. And also mentioning the Paliwal brothers as well, Praveen and Vinod as well, who are always regularly uh, keeping connection whenever we have Mukhtar Sahota on the show, man. Right? Respects to both of the brothers. And I'm going for a smaller commercial break.